fiction fans and welcome to series three of Victonia Biographica, the show for giving you biographies of fictional characters and are there any Waterloo Road fans out there? Do I see a show of hands from here in Great Britain? Well, for those of you from outside the UK who don't know what Waterloo Road is, it's a British drama set in a set predominantly in a school. And the character I'm starting this series with a bio, a biography of, with is uh, Chloe Granger, aka Charles. So she's portrayed by Katie Griffiths between series one and four of Waterloo Road, with her first appearance being in the first episode, series one, episode one, and her last appearance as of now being series four, episode 20. Uh, She finished school and moved away with her husband and daughter, born in 1991, Relationships. Mother, Izzy Redpath, deceased. Father, Jimmy Granger. Guardian, Tom Clarkson, deceased. Sisters, Mika Granger. Spouse, Dante Charles. Romances, Brett Aspinall. Daughters, Izzy Charles. Chloe. Chloe Charles, any uh, maiden name Granger, married her boyfriend Dante Charles as soon as she turned 16 in the hope that she would have the stability that was lacking in her life after her mother was murdered. She embarked on an affair with her sister Mika's boyfriend Brett Aspinall, but once it, once it is out of her system, her relationship with Dante grows even stronger. Dante presents her with a run-down old van for a mobile hairdressing business so that she can start off to fulfil start to fulfil her dreams. But Chloe again has doubts when she discovers that she is pregnant. Following Izzy's death, Tom Clarkson looks after Chloe and Mika until they leave the series at the end of series four. She graduated from Waterloo Road and left for university, moving to Manchester with Dante and their daughter, Izzy, named after her mother, Izzy Redpath, who was sadly killed by Lewis Fedden's Uncle Jed at the end of Series 2. Personality Chloe's a bright girl who wants to do well at school, But life has been traumatic for her, having to come to terms with the loss of her mum, Izzy, who was murdered in the school grounds. Looking for comfort and stability, she married boyfriend Dante Charles as soon as she turned 16, much to Tom's horror. But despite a brief fling with her sister's boyfriend, her relationship with Dante has grown stronger and Tom has now fully accepted them as a couple. Chloe is determined to become a hairdresser and Dante presents her with a run-down old van for a mobile hairdressing business so that she can start to fulfil her dreams. But this seems to be destined to failure before it really starts, when she finds herself pregnant. Okay, series one. Chloe and Mika are being looked after by their birth dad, Jimmy Granger. However, he leaves Chloe and Mika alone. Chloe decides to take the opportunity to meet her boyfriend, Dante. This leads to Chloe. This leads Chloe to become involved in a limousine crash with Dante, her best friend Holly, and Dante's best friend, Adam Bearden. Adam is killed. Holly is left in a coma. Dante with cuts and Chloe with the broken arm. 
When Dante is imprisoned, he relies on Chloe to get him out. Chloe becomes stressed and her schoolwork begins to suffer. It is revealed that a drunk Chloe climbed onto Dante and obscured his view of the road, which led to the crash. When she refuses to take the blame for Dante, they break up. However, reconcile later on. In court, Dante is found guilty by the judge, despite Chloe's best efforts in admitting the truth. Series 2 Chloe becomes good friends with Maxine Barlow and Denise Bryan. Chloe and Dante plan to marry, and they become extremely close. Izzy catches Dante touching Chloe's behind and is forced to have a talk about sex with her. Around this time, Izzy starts a relationship with fellow English teacher Tom Clarkson, following Lorna's death and Stacy Appleyard climbing into Tom's bed when she was sleeping over. Family matters become tense. Tom and Izzy reconcile and get engaged. However, Izzy is stabbed by Jed Seddon at the end of series two and dies in the arms of headmaster Jack Rimmer, who she was trying to defend from Jed. Series three. Chloe and Mika are looked after by Tom following their mum's death. Dante and Chloe tie the knot, however. Tom unexpectedly shows up at the wedding. They decide to continue the service and they go to the pub after. Chloe apologises to Tom and tells him that she misses her mum. Dante rents a flat for him. And Chloe surprises her at lunchtime. Chloe isn't very fond of the flat. When Brett Aspinall offers to give Chloe extra French lessons, they begin to get close and eventually end up kissing. Even though they both know it is wrong, they end up sleeping together and agree to never speak of it again. Chloe's relationship with Dante begins to suffer, so Dante prepares a romantic dinner for Chloe. Dante catches Chloe and Brett sleeping together and ends up revealing it to Mika. Chloe and Mika fight and Denise gets Tom to break up the fight. Mika tells Chloe she never wants to see her again, which causes Chloe to run away from her home in Rochdale. She meets a woman named Lucy at an internet cafe and is invited to stay at her boyfriend's flat. Lucy forces Chloe to shoplift and realises something is going on. And she realises something is going on. Meanwhile, Dante is desperately searching for her after Brett shows him a flyer of Chloe missing. Chloe was forced to kiss one of Lucy's friends for £20 per kiss, and is forced to watch them sleep together. She excuses herself to the bathroom and calls Tom, who calls the police, up, who calls the police to her location. As she attempts to leave, she is caught and is intimidated up the stairs. Eventually, the police arrest them and Chloe is saved. When she arrives back home after that ordeal, she and Dante do not reconcile and head teacher Rachel Mason tries to get Chloe, Dante, Mika and Brett to become civil again. Dante starts dating Celine Dixon one of the bullies who helped Leanne Galloway to set up the hate site about Mika. Celine becomes increasingly jealous of Chloe and Dante, who still harbour feelings for one another. When a large fire starts from an improperly switched off gas canister in the school canteen, Chloe is trapped in the girls' toilets and calls Dante for help. With the help of Tom, she is saved and they begin dating again. Celine is seen crying on the grass and is not seen again. Series 4 
Flo has ambitions to become a hairdresser. Because they've got to and become as one word here. And Dante surprises her with a rusty, worn down van, which he turns into a mobile hairdresser's closed cut. She caters to a number of students, but turns down Al Kelly with suspicions of him. She burns Grimey Budgeon's £450 wig and is forced to pay him the money for repairs. During this time, Dante and Flo buy a flat and customise it. However, their bank cards become overdrawn and they are forced to sell it. Flo becomes pregnant and is scared to tell Dante. She eventually does and Dante is more than pleased. However, Flo is not as excited. Kim Campbell returns and persuades Flo to go to university and follow her dreams. Which leads to her and Dante having a long argument and Dante ending up wrecking her van. She also persuades Flo to give up hairdressing. Which leads to her walking out of her MVQ exam. When picking university, she considers Manchester, but Kim persuades her to look at some in London that cater for young mothers uh, with babies. Dante disapproves and tries to change the decision. Flo also helps Flick Miller to get together with Marley Kelly. Later, during a walk in the park, Flo tells Dante she wants to give the baby up for adoption. Kim brings a lawyer into school to try and settle the argument between Flo and Dante, who has reacted badly to Flo's desire to give up the baby and wants a divorce. Later on, she gives birth to her daughter, Izzy Childs, in the toilet, surrounded by Janice, Dante and Kim. Rachel Mason later pokes her head in to see Clo. At the hospital, Clo decides she doesn't want Clo decides she doesn't want to give up the baby after all. And at the end of the series, Clo, Dante and Izzy move to Manchester for university. They are not seen on the show again. Um, other than that, in Series 6, Flo is mentioned in Series 6, Episode 3 by Tom when he tries to reassure Janice Bryant that she will be a good mother, mentioning how Flo agreed to let Janice have Izzy's old baby clothes. Janice, however, remarks that unlike Flo, she doesn't have a Dante to look after her, leading her to realise she doesn't want her baby, didn't want her baby. Okay, some trivial notes. Flo is one of the original members of the girls' football team. Before she moved into a flat with Dante, Flo lived at 34 Palatine Road, Rochdale. She is very good friends with Maxine, Janice and Flick. Flo was the first person to get married before she finished school. The second was the second student, Jonah Kirby, who eloped to Gretna Green with teacher Francesca Montoya. Graffiti saying Flo and Flo Dante loves Flo can be seen on the lockers until the school closed at the end of series seven. Okay, that is actually not officially the end of Flo's story. Because the show is coming back later this year and she is one of the original characters returning, still played by Katie Griffiths. But that is it for this opening episode. Of Victonia 
Biographica. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's a specific character you'd like me to do a biography on for the next episode, let me know in the comments below. Or better yet, I'm actually going to reopen the vote. So look out on the community post for the choices as to which characters you'd like to see me do biographies on. And for the next episode. Until then though guys, that's it and thanks for watching.